Hello, this is Darla Boljat, and I am doing part two, well, you know, part two of this phase of the hummingbird that I took a picture of on our front deck. And I'm going to put a few little feathers that are in the front here. See how those turn out if they come out pretty close to the color. Might be too blended in there. Let's see. Right over the top. There we go. I don't need to cover the whole thing. We just want to put... I'm just making it part of the painting. I don't want you to disappear. You're going to stay there. So I have a little bit of shadow that I put in um, for this Anna's Hummingbird because it was looking too round, too plump. I mean, not is there such a thing. I guess it's fine to have a plump hummingbird. Who cares? But I, it was bothering me after I saw the picture. I was like, you know what? I need to put in a neck. She's missing a neck, so we're putting that in. And I'm going over it with a little bit of green because there is green here. Yes. And I could add a little, is it yellow? It might be gray. I think it's a gray in there. Maybe a little gray and white. Maybe a lighter gray. There we are. Yeah, that should work. Let's see. If we go right over the top, and where's the top of that line? We're going to go right over this part right here because it doesn't need to be that high. Just a little bit lower. There we go. Just so it looks like little feathers. Little feathers. There we go. And there's a sort of a, a really sort of bright green right in here like a, it's dark but it's brighter and I don't know if that's so much sap as it is uh, probably phthalo a little bit of phthalo and let's see if I can incorporate some of that color probably plenty. It's one thing I notice is um, it's easy to dish up way too much paint. We'll see. We'll see if it makes a difference. Let's go for that color and see what that is. And get it to be more like the like the sap but not quite. There we are. A little bit more. try this see what it does let's go to the part where the, the lower part and I might have to put that line back in it's fine there we go just a little bit is that well might need a little bit more of this green let's see and then the dark line the dark line was a uh, just a little bit of this color without and a little bit of white go right here yeah And the rest of this painting is dry. I, I finished it a while ago. I was I was pretty much done with it. I think I was ready to abandon it. And I, um, like I said, I looked at it this morning and went, you know what? 
think I will give her a neck. How about that? I'll give her a neck. This is a Q-tip. They work really well. They work well for blending. They work well for cleaning up. If you want to change, uh, change and take something off there, I gotta get the white off this brush. So I have um, walnut oil. I don't use paint thinner. I use walnut oil. And I'm hoping it's cleaner than to breathe than than paint thinner, but and it it looks delicious. It looks like uh, I don't know what would you call it pea soup. Anyway, um, but it's got a bit of a smell, not much. And um, it's called Daniel Smith Walnut Oil, and I buy that from the art store. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can blend this a little bit. And that works pretty well to clean all the paint off the brush, and then I use soap after that. Not regular soap, but brush soap that I have. Okay, so let's see if I can get that to be... We're going to get it cur curved around, come around the front. Uh, this has got plenty of color on it. And we're going to curve this around, just make the little dot dot where the dark color is, and then, yeah, call that good. That, that, that looks pretty good. I need to blend it a little bit. We'll clean that off. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. There we are. Okay, and then some gray. I'm going to make the gray that's like underneath her neck, I think. Um, yeah. And it's, quite, it's quite a bit darker than mine, I think. I don't need to do that. I could do her head, too, which I was going to do. We'll see. We'll see if we can get this in here. Just a little bit. Oh, the adventures of painting, right? There we go. She's got the little specks of her feathers there. Let me go in a little uh, pattern on her chin. Uh, we don't want it to look like a pattern. Like, I don't want it to look like they're strategically placed in there because they're going to be feathers. Anyway. And then I'm going to take some white and go over the top. Let me see if I have... How much time do I have left on this thing? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're at seven, so it's fine. I'm gonna clean this off and go with the white over the top of her head. Actually, I'll use a different one. She doesn't have to wait for me to clean the brush. I can clean the brush later. Grabbing some white and a little bit of medium. So at this point, since I've done the painting a while ago, I need to, um, I'm gonna use fat medium because I already had lean when I started. And to get the right direction on the brush, I'm gonna turn the painting like so so like that and get some back medium there we go it's in the holder over here a little bit of fat medium and all this does is thin down the paint which will work really well it's kind of thick right now there we go I just got a little bit of it. You don't want to put a lot of medium into your paint. What I'm going to do is give her a little head octomy, I think is, um, might be what it is. Take off some of her head. Um, let's see if I can just take out a little bit, how close that is to the background. And this is reverse painting. That's fine. And I have to periodically check her and see if she's looking like I want her to. It could be her nose too is a little bit, a little bit less. Yeah, right about there. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but there's little uh, edges where her feathers come up on the other one. Um, so. Let's take a look at her and see how she's looking. I mean, I suppose I could get up and walk over there, but I'm just gonna do it from here. Okay, so I still see her head's a little bit bigger than this picture. And I think that it's this guy 
It's going to come in right in here. Yeah, make her a little bit less. She just looks so happy. Her head needs to be a little bit smaller. Turn it back around. Make sure I've got the right angle. Yeah, I think it's about here. I think that might be good. Maybe. I don't want to do this when I'm just got done painting her head because that's going to make a nice uh, green soup color in the back here, in the background, and I don't want to do that. So you want to make sure this is already dry on the background before you start overpainting with stuff to white it out. Let's see if that looks kind of like her shape. And then yes, it does. So I can go back over this with more white later. I just wanted to get it right before I was um, committed to it. That's what I want to say. I'm wondering. There's a little bit of dark behind there, but it's also around her beak. I could grab a little bit more white. I'm gonna go straight, straight into the white. Don't worry about it. I don't want to have it be too much, um, or too little, there we go. That's what I'm gonna say. And I think that's gonna be it. And I had to match the color in the background. do I see in this? I see her gray. I could do that on the next one if, if, if it works for you guys. I'm gonna um, get there we go. Let me get the rest of her head done and call it good for this video and then I will do in the next one. I see there's a bit more I don't know if I can point. I use this for a pointer. But see the gray comes down in here and I can bring that down a little further this way that way so yeah I, I think that's good call that good yeah yeah she looks I think she looks pretty good all right so I will see you in the next video and I hope you like and subscribe thank you for hanging out with me while I'm painting